welcome or welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to continue my little clothing series i guess it's a series now because it's more than one and i'm going to show you how i color denim and i'm going to go ahead and use this lovely lady right here to demonstrate that and we've already done the sweatpants in a previous video so if you want to see that it's my most recent video and you can easily find that and again this is the book pair street sock street style hello by zoe de las casas cases not sure how you say that but yeah i think that it'll be an interesting series to do and i have gotten requests about how i color my denims i think this will be nice to go ahead and show you how i color denim and if i can remember i'll pop up some pictures of denim that i've colored in the past and it's on these pictures are on more like toothy more textured paper so the denim texture really gets a chance to shine through not so much on this image here because this paper is kind of smooth but we're going to do what we can do but i'm just going to adjust the color here um i mean my focus here so yeah we're going to do what we can do but when you color it on more texture paper it kind of um lets the texture give you that denim effect like kind of like this one as well i don't know how great you're going to be able to see that but this paper has a little bit of texture that kind of helps with that denim look too but let's go ahead and get started and I'm I don't think I'm using the exact same colors as the one that I've done on this other side here I really don't think so could be I don't know but when I colored the other lady it was um the magic fly pencils and this is going to be Prismacolor but Hopefully I'm not doing the exact same color because I kind of want to do them differently, but I don't know because I tend to gravitate toward the same type of colors when I'm coloring similar items. And I'm just going to align my little baby pencils here. We are, we are getting low. So um, I'm going to be using denim blue. I'm going to be using true blue and I'm going to be using powder blue. And that's the three colors that I chose for this denim. And again, these are Prismacolor pencils and I'll try to remember to basically pop up the colors as I use them but I'm going to start with powder blue here and I'm going to go ahead and base my denim so let me zoom you in a little bit so that you can get a little closer to what I'm doing here I don't know what kind of shoes she's wearing because to me it looks like socks but then at the same time I think these are her ankles because her ankle is kind of pronounced here and then she has maybe flats on this is a very loosely drawn style so you know that's always fun but I remember, like I mentioned, going to fashion merchandising, well, taking classes in fashion merchandising, that these are called croquis, or croquis are basically the form, or, yeah, basically the form that you draw your clothing items on, and it's French, I don't, I forget what it means, but I know croquis, what I was told was like French, but it's the, bake, uh, <laughs> the basic model that you illustrate like when you're drawing your clothing on so it's basically like a paper doll like a flat lay whatever the terminologies are i don't know but i am no expert but yeah hopefully this series is interesting to watch and you take away something from it because i don't like to call what i do tutorials i just like to call it how i color because i don't feel like i'm a professional or that great in any way to say a tutorial and tell you how you should do something but hopefully it's being helpful and like i said i have gotten requests about how i color my denim in the past and i don't think i've rightly shown it on my channel before so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get that popping and then mo i got a really positive response thank you guys so much for watching the last video on how i colored the sweatpants and like i said it was positively received people seem to like it so i said let's why not just make it a series and and i kind of mentioned that in the video before about just make it a series and show different things so next i'm going to come in with my oh my gosh <laughs> my denim blue was out of frame there and i'm like the layer is really light as you can see that i put down for the powder blue so i'm just going to come in with my denim blue and it's so funny that it's called denim blue we're going to use it on denim ha 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 and i'm going to go ahead and start coloring where i would like my shadows to be let me adjust myself here so i can make sure i'm in focus okay that looks good and like i said i don't think i've colored denim on my channel before so i think this will be interesting and i really want to color color <laughs> color hello <laughs> i'm getting so tongue tied i don't know why i really want to color clothing items that i kind of haven't colored before 
which shouldn't be hard because like I mentioned in the last video mostly I feel like we color dresses because a lot of our books are just feminine and just fairy tale like or they have loads of women in them we don't get a lot of men I wonder why we need some more men in our coloring books like why can't we get that happening <laughs> but yeah we're used to coloring dresses because we get a lot of women in our coloring books which I don't have a problem with coloring women but I want to color some men. I have recently colored a man in one of my Asian coloring books and that was fun because he had a six pack and everything. I was like, ooh, <laughs> this is fun. And I know like they have those books. I don't, I forget what they're called, but it has one with like Keanu Reeves and Jason Momoa and stuff. And those are like, it's going to be all men on every page because it's them. <laughs> so, you know, but. And sorry if I sound a little croaky or my nose is running. I'm very cold right now. <laughs> I don't know what's going on and I feel like I sounded so croaky in the video I did for the sweatpants. I apologize about that. I don't know what was going on with my voice there. But as you can see, I'm going and pointing out my shadows. So what we're going to do right here where this line is, I'm going to go ahead and pronounce that line a little more. I'm going to pronounce all these lines a little more that the artist has drawn already. And what I mean by that is I'm going over it darker and so it doesn't look black. And it actually looks like a fold and a wrinkle in these jeans here. So I'm just going to go ahead and trace it and shape my little shapes in here. And I kind of want this triangular. So I'm going to draw like a line from there. And I'm kind of going to swoop it a little like that because that's how I want it to look with this little fold right here. And yeah, this weather is crazy. It's been in the 60s, but it was just in like 90s last week. And I'm just like, the weather can't make up its mind. It felt summer before it was spring and now it's feeling spring. And I'm just so confused. So anyway, this line here, I kind of want to make it a little shape. So I'm rounding the shapes out as you can see. And that's the look that I'm going to be going for. I'm just making sure I'm still in focus here. And that looks nice, hopefully. Maybe I can zoom in a little bit more. And I'm just going to round this one out. And go ahead and trace this line. And do the same here. And round it out there. And bring this down. And I'm going to bring my line all the way down here. So this book is so perfect for this and it's coming in handy. It's coming in handy. But I have one called The Look by Suwa, which is perfect too because I think that artist used to be or is a handbag designer or something like that. So that book is packed with people in great fashion and cool scenes and it has all manner of clothing in that book as well. But these are like the perfect size, I think, for me to demonstrate in a video because they won't take forever and this paper is pretty cool and then I think it's just a good size like I said so we won't be here forever in three days <laughs> because that's how long it would take me to color a huge full size page of clothing it would take me so long y'all because I color so slow and I wonder well I know I used to color faster back in the day when I first started and I wonder if it was because I didn't layer as much because I wasn't I was learning to layer and everything but I don't I don't know if I was so committed to it the way I am now because I was still learning I don't know it's interesting to think about but I definitely was learning and trying to blend and shade but I just feel like I colored so much faster back in the day I don't know what it was but I did because I remember I used to finish a page in a day and that would be me sitting down for a handful of hours coloring and I would finish a page. And I remember I finished a double page spread the a double page spread one day. And it was a lot on that page. I don't know what like I don't even know how to this day I even did that. I think about that all the time. I know exactly which picture it was. It was a Fabian Antonazio picture and it was a Peter Pan a book. And I finished that double page spread like I had a five hour energy or something I don't know because I could not imagine coloring a double page spread right now and finishing that in a day like it would be no way I would do that unless I got up and started coloring 
at five in the morning and color for 12 hours straight or something and never got up i don't know <laughs> and then it depends on how much detail will be on that page and everything so i don't know I, I just don't see myself being able to color a double page spread in a day like i could color for six hours sometimes and just finish skin like it's on a portrait so i don't know it's just interesting when i think back about it but anyway we are just getting our color of this denim down and so as you can see i'm making it darker along the edges where's her inner leg and her outer leg because that's where the shadow would be and then i'm going to leave i would usually color this dark where this hoodie bit is but what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave that there because i kind of want her denim to have a white well not a white but like a light blue wash in the front so that's the look i'm going for and we're going to put rips on it like i usually do and it's just going to come out so cute i know because i really like to color denim and make things look denim it's really fun so yeah that's what we're going to do and this is pretty much how the first leg looks so yeah we're going to go ahead and do this next leg and i want to color some tops for sure in this series like blouses sweaters so we have this sweater to do on this side and i didn't finish her because i want to make that one video where i color different tops so my plan is to color different tops like maybe a sweater a blouse maybe i could find um a tank top or some type of crop top or i don't know just different types of shirts i don't want to color just one shirt and call that a video because <laughs> that would be interesting and super short uh to just be like hey here's a shirt okay bye so i want to combine a couple of different shirts or types of tops in one video for um this series and then of course i have to do a dress but see the, the thing about that is this book is so very like look at this dress this is like a shirt dress kind of um straight dress then you have like this more loose dress so it's very dresses in this book even on the same page we have this kind of dress which is like an a-line dress so that will be one video for me to color different types of dresses i think different types of shirts in one different types of dresses in one and i don't know what else y'all want to see because there there are handbags in this book there are shoes in this book so i don't know if anyone wants to know how you color a shoe like <laughs> i think that's so random but if you want to know you can let me know in the comments like if that's something you want to see me do but because i'm up for it like i said since i'm doing more than th the first video that i've done officially it's a series now and i'm put i'm placing all these videos in the how i color section on my channel so if you are on your phone you would just slide your finger over to playlists and you will see how i color i never come on youtube on a laptop or a tablet or anything but i assume the layout is pretty much the same so if you slide your finger over um when you get to the home section of my channel i'm pretty sure you'll see playlists and that's where these little mini videos of oh, i went outside the line there that's fine that's where these little mini videos of how our color will be and they'll be in a playlist for your convenience because i know how annoying it could be searching for things and i kind of want to make it a little more streamlined for y'all so because i care you know so that'll be how you'll be able to find these and hopefully it helps you out in your coloring and hopefully i'm giving you some good tips because i really don't know <laughs> this is just basically how i sit down and how i would color it like i said and if it helps you that's amazing so i'm just going to go ahead and round this little bit out right here and then this is a line here and i want that noticed and i just think it's fun coloring clothing i know some people may have some issues so like i said hopefully this is going to be helpful but I think we had no choice but to learn how to color clothing or at least attempt it by now. If you're new to coloring, I'm sure you have books with people in them or portraits or I don't know, even if it's just random objects, <laughs> I'm pretty sure clothing comes up and you've had to tackle it at some point or another. So I'm just trying to point out my folds on here. And, oh, my nose is runny. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's so chilly here right now. So 
that I'm not complaining because I'm not a summer lover and I'm going to be super sad once the summer is fully upon us and I have to suffer in the heat because I hate the heat. So I'm trying to enjoy these little cool nights that we get now because they will soon be gone, unfortunately, because I live somewhere where there's continental weather. So it's never like one, one weather system all the time to get acclimated to. Okay, so down here, I'm going to make this a little U-shape there, and then I'm going to bring this there, like so, and make this a little darker right down here. And as you can see, hopefully, that I have made it darker at the edges, but I've blended it out some so that it'll play nicely when we add our mid-tone and then I'm not going to add much of the mid-tone but just a little bit so that it's, it's a little visible because like I said I want these to have a certain look where it's distressed and kind of still light colored in the middle oh my gosh this I really have to figure out my phone camera settings because I feel like it keeps going out of focus and it's not doing the best job anymore and I think a weird setting is on it because my camera is the bomb and it's just acting a fool these days okay so next I'm going to go in with true blue and I'm going to use this as my mid color like I stated in the beginning of the video. And we're just going to go over where I put my darkest color. And we're going to bring it out just a wee bit. Because like I said, I still want this to have that distressed look. I remember like, was it the early 2000s when whisker print jeans were in? Who remembers those? And they would have the white lines across. <laughs> that was all you see. I had a couple pairs, unfortunately, I will admit. And... <laughs> They were horrible. They were not a good look. And I don't know why they were so popular and why we wore them, but they looked horrible. Anyway, <laughs> I don't even see them anymore. That's what's funny because they were like all the rage and then you didn't see them anymore. And I, and I, and at the time, you know, I did think it looked good. I'm not even going to lie. And then they had the nerve. Some of them would have the whisker print on the back of the leg. Oh my gosh, who remembers those? And it cracks me up when I think about like early 2000s fashion. Like what in the world was going on? I don't know. <laughs> But it makes me laugh when I think about the things that were trending and like what we, I'm going to say we because I was a part of some things. What we used to wear is too funny. I'm glad some of that stuff is gone. But it's going to come back again because that's what fashion always does. It always um, comes back around and reinvents itself maybe in a little different way than it was when it first popped up. But it, it all comes back around. It circles back. But those whisker print jeans were horrible. So... Let's not bring those back. <laughs> Let's not bring those back. And I'm sorry if you wear those. I'm not. I hope I don't offend you. But you know, cause each to each song. You know, if you like them, that's fine. But I don't. They were horrible. I'm glad I got rid of mine. I think I donated them or whatnot. Cause that's what I tend to do with all of my old clothes. I just donate them, or I give them to people in my family that could fit my size, <laughs> like my cousins. My sister can't fit my clothes, but she always wants them. And we are two totally different sizes. <laughs> and she cannot fit my stuff. My stuff is way too small for her. Okay. So this is pretty much how I want these to look. Looking good, looking good. I'm just smoothing everything over. And making sure I'm getting my color well represented in there. I really hope this video is focused, y'all. Because I'm going to be so mad when I look back and edit this. And it's not focused. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to do it over. Which would be fine, but still, that would annoy me. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my settings. I really have to look at that because my, my phone is what I use to record on and my camera is awesome like I have no qualms with this camera it's amazing but it has been acting kind of strange lately and I think I may have accidentally changed something with the focus or something I don't know but I'm gonna find out I'm gonna make it my mission <laughs> to figure it out or look at a video tutorial or something on how to fix it because I think it's acting a plum fool these days I am finding and I use my phone to record all the time because I make a lot of Instagram content for my business <laughs> I make reels and stuff and you know I'm gonna need that to work 
and plus I need to record you know this little series for y'all and when I pop up on my channel with some videos I want them to have good quality and my lighting is always trash so there's nothing I can do about that I don't know why my lighting is always so bad because I have good lighting but when you record it just I don't know it just amplifies the worst and things I think a lot of the time and my lighting is one of those things that it doesn't like to play nicely with sorry about the boring talk about a camera phone and lighting okay so anyway this is pretty much how this is pretty much looking how I would like it to look and yeah you don't have to use these colors you can make your denim any color you want. Like I said, you just need a dark tone, a mid-tone, and a light tone. Because as we know, denim comes in so many different colors. But I wanted to stick with the denim that we all know and love. That color. Of that good old blue. And hopefully, like I said, I popped up those pictures of denims. <laughs> denims that I've done in the past. And I probably have used these colors, I'm pretty sure, because like I said, when I color similar things, I pretty much gravitate toward the colors that I've used before, even though I try to mix it up. But I have a feeling, because I'm a creature of habit, even though I don't write my color combinations down, I could pretty much tell <laughs> like that I've used the similar colors on things. So, yeah, that's pretty much how that's looking. So, now I'm going to come in with, this is powder blue. And I'm going to use my powder blue to go ahead and blend everything all together. So I'm going to start in the lightest part first because this will kind of really mix them together. And I don't want to start in my darkest area and then drag it into the light because then it'll mix it together. So what you want to do is start in the light area and then like go inward. Well, I guess it will be inward. So yeah, you want to start in the middle. And go inward but I'm really not trying to take out too much of that white I'm just trying to blend the edges because I want the white kind of faded distressed look so I'm really being careful to just stay on the edges and not go over the part that we left we didn't leave it white we left it our lightest color I'm not trying to go over the part with the lightest color too much I'm going in and blending. Okay. And then you could come in with white as well if you wanted to do that. It really isn't going to change up too much. So it's up to you if you want to do that. But I'm not going to add any white. I'm going to leave it just so. And like I said, I'm not trying to overwork it where I'm bringing and pulling the blue in the middle too much. I just want to smooth out middle edges. And so that's what it's looking like. So I'm going to just wipe my pencil off here because I don't want any dark blue in there. And I'm going to start in the middle, like I said, and just blend the edges and work. And then I'm going to add some cute little rips. And then we're going to be done, y'all. And you have colored some denim. So, like I said, you don't have to use these exact colors. But it will definitely give you that tried and true blue. For sure. And hopefully you've enjoyed this. And it wasn't too dull. <laughs> Because I'm always worried about that because I don't add any music or whatever because I'm just lazy to be honest. And I don't want to edit it to where it's music and stuff because I have to get on my laptop and do all this stuff. And when I don't add music, I can just do it from my phone and just quickly get it edited for you and get it up on the channel. So that's what I prefer to do. That's why also I don't have links <laughs> put in my videos because I have to get on my a little laptop and do that and I'm lazy and I don't want to do I don't want to fool with all that so <laughs> I like to do it quick and easy you know and save myself all that extra rigmarole <laughs> yes I just said that like an old person but it's okay okay so that's pretty much how I want my denim looking and I feel like this has more 
of the it doesn't it's not as it's, this side is lighter than that side and I'm just going to blend it in a little bit more because they aren't exactly even but that's cool because you know denim can look different especially if it's dyed and they do like all the different washes to it I guess like stone wash and everything and that's why they're so unique it's so cool I wish I knew how to dye denim and do all of that stuff I mean I can definitely learn but I meant like I wish I knew right now because <laughs> I think that'll be cool to do like tie-dye and all that stuff I mean I wouldn't wear tie-dye denim because that just seems like a bit much that's not my style but I mean I want to tie-dye some things for sure and it's so funny because I was just talking about using ink tints on clothing because when I went on Instagram I've seen that people use ink tints before on clothing and it doesn't wash out because it's ink so I think that'll be fun to like design a shirt or like a canvas bag or something with ink tints. I think that'll be really fun because my ink tints don't get used that much and if I started doing stuff like that I definitely would use them for sure. Okay so now I think I'm pretty much done with how they look so I'm going to zoom out a little bit and that's what they're looking like y'all so yes we have colored some denim so now I'm just going to take my white Posca this is just a white acrylic paint pen and you can use a gel pen as well and what I find with my gel pen with my Posca as well sometimes that the pencil will absorb into the Posca and especially if it sits over time sometimes it doesn't but I find that like my Dahlia purple and like blues will absorb the Posca and it'll come and be that color after a while or sometimes like I said if you just let it sit for a minute and dry I don't know just go over it again if that happens so enough chit chat with that this is the this says it's a 1 mr or 0 0.7 mm I don't know whatever it's like this really thin one. Oh my gosh are you focusing camera let's do it you can do it it does not want to do it okay so this is the really thin nib one and like i said it says 1 mr or 0 0.7 mm so i don't know if you want this one just look up poscas like that so i'm going to see where would i want to put some little rippies hmm it shouldn't take me this long to figure that out but it is so let's just let me figure that out okay so let's just put some like right here oh, wait, let me get my pasta together i literally just used this so it should be ready to function and it's not okay so you have to prime it sometimes and get it together <laughs> okay so i think we're good to go let me see did it put some stuff okay what would be fun too is to splatter these and have like a splatter effect on your jeans too that would be an idea to do too i just thought about it okay so that was a little bigger than i wanted for my little rip so i'm just doing some little lines as you can see hopefully you can see that let me zoom you in a little bit so i did some little lines like that right and i kind of want that to dry a little bit because i'm going to go back over it and hopefully it's in focus i don't know can y'all see i would hope so oh my gosh let's do that okay and then i'm just going to go ahead and kind of get my pen to work okay so i don't know about doing this with the thicker one because it might not work as good so i'm just doing some little horizontal lines and some little vertical lines and i have a thin gel pen that probably would have been a little better for this but it's okay so that's how that looks right hopefully that's clear enough for y'all and then i'm going to do one down here on this leg just to just to you know not have it uniform and have the rips all in one place so i'm just like i said doing some vertical lines and then do some horizontal lines and then that's all you do to make your little rippies in your denim And that's what that's looking like. So I'm going to zoom out now. Zoom out a little more. So that's what these ended up looking like. So I think they look really cool. And if you want it, you can definitely put a skin tone. Like when you colored it, you can put a skin tone circle or square patch. 
and color your denim around that and then when you add your little white lines it'll look like the skin is peeking through but i didn't do that type of demonstration this time obviously but that's an idea that you can do like i said as well as splatter so that would be fun too so that's pretty much how i color denim y'all and like i said my colors are pretty much usually the same if i'm using blue denim i know i i know for sure i probably gravitate toward those same pencils but if i mix it up you know, it's just a little variation of whatever blue I used, so it's not that big of a difference. But, yeah, that's pretty much how I colored this denim. And then you can see this denim over here. And I didn't add any rips, but I added some white little um, stitch lines, and I think that looked really cute. So, yeah, that's how they turned out. Hopefully that helps you out if you are wondering, you know, the colors I used or how I approach it. That's pretty much it. Hopefully it's helpful. It's not too dull for y'all to look at. And I will, like I said, continue this series. I have a plan to do tops, like shirts, blouses, sweaters, especially just go ahead and finish this up right here on this side and uh, make that one video. And then I want to do dresses. And like I said, you could let me know what else you would like to see as far as this series is concerned. Do you want to see hats? Do you want to see shoes? I don't know what you want to see. So you could let me know. And um, I have actually, before I go, I can show y'all how we have a whole page of hats. I don't think that'll be that stimulating for me to color, but I could definitely color a hat or two. I have a page full of bags. I definitely can color a bag or two because it'll be fun trying to think about what um, materials or what fabrics they will be made out of. Um, oh, I have this whip in here that is so old, y'all. I did this maybe last year, actually, or like a year and a half, two years ago. And I was I had plans on coloring this sweater purple, but never got to it because it's supposed to match her hat. But anyway, so it's a page with shoes, too. Oh, here's one with all skirts. Oh, my gosh. My camera. Come on, man. Okay, here I have one with skirts. And then it's a page with swimsuits. It's really cute. I don't think I've colored very many swimsuits. I'm trying to find that one with the shoes. Oh. Uh, and I have a page with the shoes on it. So you could just let me know what you would like to see, like I said. And I will try and get that filmed for you if you have any ideas. And I appreciate you all watching. I appreciate my subscribers. I've reached a little over 3,000 subscribers recently. So thank you all so much. I truly appreciate it because I know how my content is, you know, far and few between these days. So I appreciate everyone who sticks around and still likes my videos, engages in the comments and watches. I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. And like I said, again, <laughs> I reiterate, if you have any requests or any video suggestions, it doesn't just have to be clothing. You could just let me know what you would like to see overall and I will think about how I can approach that. And I just wish everyone happy coloring. Take care out there and I'll see you in my next video.